And as the calendar continues, so does our countdown. We're just a little over a month away from the winter solstice, December 21st. All important date. One of my favorites being a weatherman. I prefer winter months and uh, I'm actually born on this solstice. So yeah, that's that holds a lot of uh, dear to my heart, close to my heart, if you will. Um, I mentioned the countdown because this is when winter begins. <laughs> winter didn't begin last week when we had the temperatures that felt as such. Winter doesn't begin this weekend when we continue to feel uh, these frigid temperatures. So we've maintained these chilly mornings. We haven't set any record low temperatures. Uh, thankfully, or I don't know how to put this next statement, but record low temperatures for both Montrose and Grand Junction uh, exist right around the single digits. Uh, four degrees Sunday morning for Montrose, 13 for Grand Junction. We're doing slightly better to start our day, thankfully. Our afternoon, however, uh, we could see these cold afternoons potentially setting uh, records for cold high temperatures, and that will continue through at least Monday. The potential's there, uh, but we also have this slow warm up. Here's the good news. I'm saving it for last. We have a slow warm up essentially beginning. Uh, it began yesterday, it continues today, and then getting into the work week it's for some of us. It's a shortened work week because of Thanksgiving, uh, but our afternoon temperatures and evening our morning lows. Uh, these will start to increase. It'll be subtle, but by the time we get to the Thanksgiving, to the end of next week, some of us may be looking at near 50 degree readings. That's a big change from the 30s and low 40s that we've been recently. Uh, now, average high temperature Sunday afternoon, still 50 degrees. But once we transition another 24 hours into the future, Monday's average afternoon high temperature for mid-November is actually 49 degrees. And you know what? will achieve 49 degrees seasonal average probably by Thanksgiving and that's something we I think can look forward to next couple of days for Grand Junction. Uh, look at that little bit of a warming trend mid 40s, upper 40s, low 50s. Mm. Now if we can maintain the storm track away from us, then this will come to fruition. If that storm track collapses and, and by that I really want to say if the high pressure system that's over the western third of the United States and the Eastern Pacific along the West Coast. If that collapses, then the storm track will dip down through Colorado. That's what was originally in the forecast last week when I was uh, hinting to the idea of a Thanksgiving storm system. Well, moving forward, that's no longer an option right now. So that's something we're gonna be watching for, changes in the forecast. I think all of your travels, at least uh, on the ground, are going to be doable leading into the Thanksgiving holiday travel season. Airlines, wherever your connections are, that might be a different story. But uh, moving through the rest of this weekend on a cold note, starting the work week on a cold note, and then slowly, you know, I say slowly warming things up, but these temperatures are going to be huge differences from what we felt last week. Same thing, Montrose. We also have a bit of a warming trend. Starting the work week off below the average for the afternoon, slowly, steadily increasing a degree or two each day, thankfully. Added cloud coverage at the beginning and middle of this upcoming week in response to some of those storm systems that are getting deflected to the north. Now we may get some breezy conditions and, and some of our mountain zones, maybe the central and the northern, may get a fresh dusting. But these conditions are actually ideal for artificial snow. So the resort communities, they're starting to open up left and right. Um, heading into Thanksgiving week, that's always a big, um, a big celebratory opening for ski resorts. And with the dry, clear, cold conditions in place, I see no reason why more resorts and more terrain do not open up uh, by midweek, by the end of this upcoming week, because it is Thanksgiving. It is a holiday, and I think a lot of people enjoy uh, getting out and about skiing or otherwise.